Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so, for those who are just new here, welcome. My name is Mac, and we have Kelly here as well. So, today we're going to do um, an unboxing of a new tarot deck, and I bought this one from Amazon. Um, so this is the uh, magical Nordic tarot. Um, all right, so that's uh, it's the magical Nordic tarot, and this is by Jean Wallace. Um, so I can see some dents <laughs> in my um, box right now. It's kind of disappointing. You know what? Amazon always likes to throw stuff away. I guess just expect that you will receive dents and stuff, dents, creases, whatever. They just don't know how to take care of their um, you know shipments and stuff or probably this is due to the shipment yeah anyways I can totally accept that all right so this is the magical Nordic tarot by Jane Wallace and it includes 79 cars and 64 page illustrated guidebook now hmm commission card by artist Tracy I mean, I'm curious what this is about and of course the side of the box has this um, amazing artwork as well sample images of the cards as usual like how it all goes and this is how you pronounce this one I asked them how this is really pronounced because I I've been hearing some uh, reviewers like calling it Kiko some others say psycho CICO now finally um, I was told by Ryan and Peters by Ryan and Peters rather that the correct way to pronounce this is Seiko books so it's Seiko, guys. All right, so not Kiko, not Psycho, not C A C O. It's Seiko. So it's published by Seiko Books, and let's see. It retails for eighteen ninety five. Now let's read what the back says. Um, see the dent? Kind of disappointing, right? But anyway, um, as long as the cards are okay, it's fine with me. Now gain new and powerful insights into the meanings of the tarot with this beautiful deck that is inspired by Nordic myths and folklore. Illustrated by Hannah Davis, the cards are filled with powerful imagery from images of spirit animals and rune stones to depictions of the northern lights and tree of life. In addition to the traditional major and minor arcana, the deck features a, spe a specially commissioned card charity by artist Tracy Emin. Roots are actually one of the things that I'm into right now or I'm in, um, starting to like learn so um, I'm still new to it though so don't expect me to say a lot of you know things about it yet just yet um, so where was I um, in addition to the traditional major and minor arcana, the deck features a, spe a specially commissioned card, Charity, by artist Tracy Yemen. The accompanying book gives detailed information about each card, <clears throat> including helpful keywords and an inspirational message, as well as explaining how to lay out the cards for different types of reading. Alright, so let's uh, try to open this box. All right, so let's try to open this box. It's a pull side, and there goes the cards and the guidebook. So you just pull it out from the side, and let's try to, you know, yeah, let's just try to see the guidebook first. Okay, so here's the Magical Nordic Tarot guidebook and of course as usual um velvety feeling and then sample images more sample images of the cards and this is a full colored guidebook by the way as all seeker books i think are and we have here 
table of contents. So this is copyrighted 2020. It's a new card. Uh, where was I? It was copyrighted 2020. It's just a new card. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was um, released September or so. Yeah, I'm just gonna like put somewhere a text somewhere here, the published date and um or the release date, and then we have the table of contents. So we have here introduction spreads, the uh, major con and minor icons. So the usual stuff from Jane Wallace and Seiko books, tarot. Now we have here. I love the artwork though in the guidebook. So we have here the introduction, and let me see. All right, so um, Jane Wallace is uh, telling here that she learned about the history of um, Nordic myths, uh, Nordic myths, yeah, <laughs> and um, she fell in love with everything that's connected that's connected to Nordic legends and beliefs, and then I think this is what inspired her to do this um, deck. And so the tarot deck combines traditional tarot imagery and meanings with Nordic mythology, incorporating some of her favorite legends, which include uh, stories about powerful spirit animals and the gods and goddesses and their magical powers. Um, all right, so let's see what else. So, all right, so it has one additional card in here that's, um, uh, that was designed by Tracy Emin so we'll take a look at that one later when we go through the flip through of the cards um, what else is here so start yada yada okay so it says if you just need to tarot um, try reading for yourself first uh, of course as usual <laughs> try to read for yourself first and then pay attention to the colors the keywords the imagery on each card and use your intuitive side, of course, and then getting to know the cards, beginning a reading, finishing reading, and then we have spread. So we have one card reading, past, present, three cards spread, past, present, future. Then we also have in here the Nordic Compass. Now if you can hear my dogs, they're like, I don't know what's, what's going on with them. <laughs> um, so we have the Nordic Compass. The spreads, uh, one, two, so this is a four card spread, Nordic compass, and then we also have in here the horseshoe, which is a six, six card spread. The light within, yeah, this is actually what I like about uh, Jane Wallace tarot, um, works, artworks, um, or yeah, her works. So she has a lot of spreads in each tarot deck i have her angel um the angel tarot i have her crystal um what do you call this again the crystal power tarot i think i forgot um and i okay just those just, just those two and i love it that's one thing that i love about her then we have the light with dean spread we have the clock spread and it says in here what the spread is all about. Like this one, for example, the clock shape spread um, will give you, you can't read it, will give you a deep insight into your life at present and offer you help and guidance with any obstacles or challenges that may be holding you back. Hmm, nice, nice one. Um, we have as well, let's see. So this is more like a quick insight than already compass. Horseshoe is about offering guidance on key areas in your life. So we have here like um, personal affairs, relationship, outcome, business work, home life, and the people around you. So these are actually nice spreads. Awesome spreads. I'm excited to use this. Huh. I mean, yeah, I'm really excited to use, especially this two one, uh, this two Spreads here, Nordic Compass, and the Horseshoe. Alright, um, this is great. Yeah, I really love it. Now we proceed with the Major Arcana. 
all right and if you can see the cards or the picture or the images rather um so you have here the picture of the card and then this is um, a, a description of the card we have here keywords as well we have the message we have the meaning and some uh, facts here this is nice it's really good informative guidebook here and then so known as the Vegvizier like this year, I, I just really wish that she had included how to pronounce this. Like this year, but what else? So, yeah, picture um, about the card, description of the card, what you see on the card, rather, and then the keywords, message, meaning, and then that goes, and then the um, facts about the Nordic God mythology and stuff. Um, so, this is actually perfect. And that goes on for the Major Arcana cards, sorry, Major Arcana cards. And then for the Minor Arcanas, as usual, we have here um, the elements, associations of the suits. And then we have here the meanings of, let's say, what, Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth, tenth. Um, then the court cards is, uh, there's a description here as well about the court cards so now for the minor arcanas we have here just um the usual you know um images of the what do you call this of the suit um so the pentacles of course the coins um, and then here description would be a keyword and a um Yep, about the card itself, um, like like a more defined or a more detailed explanation of the meaning of each card. Now, also, um, I've noticed that on each um, minor arcana cards, you have a uh, um, a certain keyword at the bottom, just uh, like her, just like all her works, um, all her tarot decks. Um, they have like a meaning at the bottom, which is really nice. I mean, it's it's really perfect for beginners for them to like to know what it means now for the court cards the usual um uh, there's an imagery and they're not really like not really um right away it's myth based imagery however you have these uh, keywords at the bottom to help you out with the meaning of each card so that's it for the guidebook and now let's proceed with the flip through so um now what i've noticed is the the plastic binding this is even better than the previous ones the previous ones were thin now this one it's a little bit more thicker which is perfect for me all right so i'll move that aside in the back of the cards it's really really gorgeous um purple green and the star um what do you call this <clears throat> sorry let me just put this here i totally forgot what it's called um she mentioned in the guidebook aha the northern lights okay there you go i totally forgot what it's called um the northern lights uh look you know um where you can see purple green um uh what else would we say in the northern lights purplish greenish white yellow maybe even pink that you can see right so this is beautiful back of a tarot and it's glossy all right uh it's really glossy like i think all seeker books or all seeker works tarot and um <clears throat> sorry tarot and uh oracle alike are all glossy but this is nice i mean i can totally work with this um of course they are thin 
uh, the usual Seiko cardstock. Thin. This could be pretty flimsy. However, it's just how you totally take care of your cards. So, I can deal with this. I've been using her um, Crystal Power Tarot and the, the Angel Tarot from time to time. And it's still neat. Because I carefully shuffle them. So, it's totally up to how you really take care or use your tarot. Now, for the flip through. Here we go. <clears throat> Oh, I'm just put this aside. Okay, for the flip through, here we have the fool. Magician. The high priestess. The empress. The emperor. Now try to read the um keywords here at the bottom while I'm flipping through. The lovers and um, try to notice as well the symbolism like the moon and this time it's not like white and black dog but they're both black we have the justice card and now it's bear right here this is something new <clears throat> the hermit and this is uh, this doesn't like like uh, this doesn't look like an old man but um just uh just a normal guy who's just meditating somewhere in the woods i think or no somewhere in a waterfall or something wheel of fortune now this is a different wheel of fortune because you can see like there's like a thin um, invisible ray of light in there that connects the three of them and this one I guess I'm guessing is the wheel of fate or something but the butterflies are there so strength card then we have the hangman this is what I always do Yep, a calming look. So, this is perfect for me. Limbo. Death Curtain. Now, this is what I like about Jane Wallace, you know, um, art uh, tarot. Like, she's um, been doing or she's been creating the Devil card and the Death card less scary and, like, more... Um, more positive uh, meaning coming out towards the card which is perfect for you know beginners the sun card is nice <laughs> it's awesome it's fantastic Hmm. No, because this is a different judgment card for me. Like, there's your reflection on the water. This could probably be your old self, and you're trying to, like, you know, see a new version of you, some sort. This is a beautiful world card. I'm liking the artwork here. And this is the new or the additional card um, that she mentioned in the guidebook, uh, which is uh, Charity by Tracy Emin, I think. Now we're on to the Ace of Pentacles. So it's the same thing, you know, with um, all other Sika books and all Jane Wallace um, arts or tarot collections. Um, all the pip cards have the symbols of the suits and then just um, one keyword here at the bottom which would help you out with, you know, reading the card.
And now we're um, on the cups suit. There's really not much for me to talk about because they're all like the same, um, same arts. It's just, uh, I'm just, you know, noticing the, um, I'm just reading out the keywords at the bottom if they really, um, if they're really like, um, based on the Rider Waite Smith meanings of the cards, so. And what I've been noticing though is um, the fact that she she's using positive keywords on the cards. And that's a plus for me. I mean, it's um, this will be a good tarot deck to use uh, especially for you know for for new beginners for those who are just learning tarot um, this would be a good way to start um, you know using the cards by or you know you yeah using the cards through the keywords And if you get yourself familiar already with the keywords in here, then you can like use a more advanced um, tarot. You see like in here, she used a positive keywords meanings for the nine and tens of ones. which is awesome queen king hmm all right then we're la down to the last suit ace of swords two of swords difficulties three of swords Affairs of the heart, huh? First time I saw that, and then four of swords, recuperation. We have five of swords, six of swords, seven of swords, betrayal, eight of swords, restriction. Nine of Swords. Hmm. Perfect meaning. Mental conflict. Then Ten of Swords. Yeah, see? Completion. Now this is more okay, now I, I already see like a more positive um meanings on her um nines and tens of the wands and the sword suit. Which is I could really say a nice way to put those nice and tense on a reading. So we have Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the last one, King of Swords. All right, now, as how I always do it, Let's shuffle the cards and see if they shuffle decently. Yep, they do. And because I have small hands, I am having a little bit difficulty grasping them. However, since they are bendable because they are thin, I can deal with it. So they're easy to shuffle and you can shuffle it as well sideways like this. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, yep, we can shuffle it like this. 
and you let's try to do the overhead shot then. Yep, decent, neat. I don't have a hard time, you know, um, shuffling them both, like overhand shuffling and um, rifle shuffle. So, as usual, let's try to pick a card and read from the guidebook. We have the Six of Swords. Alright, from Six of Swords, it says in here, um, okay, not sure if you can read that, but, alright, um, let me just put it here. Alright, so this is about. I'm not really sure why, but give me a second. Okay, I think this is even better. Uh huh. There we go. All right, now we have here the Six of Swords. And, all right, it says here the Six of Swords represents um, the calm after a storm. It often appears following a period of hardship or stress and heralds the arrival of a calmer cycle in your life. This is a time to leave the drama and arguments to the show to the shows on Netflix and distance yourself from anything that disrupts your peace. From leaving a stressful job to booking a much needed vacation, this card signifies the need to put your mental well-being first. Romantically, it can symbolize a period of healing following a breakup or time away from a partner. You can also predict exciting work opportunities overseas or a journey across water. So the keywords here is, are rather recuperation, travel, time out, new destinations. So, huh. Alright, now, okay, so that's it for today. Um, this is how the magical Nordic tarot reads, and I wonder what do you guys think about it. Um, the cards, they are really beautiful. They are perfect. I mean, I love how they look. I love the artworks. I do love the meanings of the cards. They are they are like giving this um, positive uh, positive meanings of the cards, which is really nice when you're just a beginner and you're trying to understand um, the meanings of the cards on each card and try to like practice reading on yourself. This is, um, I would rec I really recommend this one for new beginners out there. You can use this card um, practicing your readings and stuff so before you proceed with a much um, difficult or more advanced level of tarot, um, tarot decks. So I love it. I really do. Um, how about you guys? Do you already have this card? Um, I also love the backs so gorgeous all right so please let me know if you have this um tarot deck if you already bought this one if it's in your wish list are you planning to buy them now and um yeah let me know what you guys think about this uh new tarot deck by jane wallace oh yeah i forgot forgot about it so let's uh let's try to read the charity first um okay so it says in here uh designed by the world-renowned artist Tracy Emin. The charity card depicts the image of one of the most sacred animals in Nordic mythology, a blue cat synonymous with um, the goddess of love and beauty, Freya, who's thought to have traveled in a chariot pulled by cats. Oh, so this is a cat, huh? Okay. Then for the keywords, it means giving, kindness, compassion, independence. What you give, you will receive. So it's about generosity. Wow. Okay. 
So your attrition may be heightened and your desire to paint or write may be strengthened too. Days spent alone will recharge your energy. This card can also signify the need to spend time with animals. Hmm. So acts of kindness, being generous, compassion. So that's what the charity means. All right. So, yep. Yeah, I do love this deck. Um, plus, the additional card is a plus. All right. So thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and do so. And do not forget to hit that notifications button so that you will not miss a single upload from me. All right. Um, if you have any other recommendations of tarot decks that you would like me to purchase, I mean, you would like me to do a flip through of or um, unboxing video of, please comment down below. Let me know about it. And I will try to look for that tarot deck and do the unboxing for you all right thank you guys again for watching until my next video and say good night to Kelly. bye, bye.